Hey, I'm Isadora, and today we're going to be going over the 17 SDGs. Well, let's start from the beginning. Do you know what SDGs? SDGs are Sustainable Development Goals, and they are 17. That's basically, that's why it's 17 SDGs. <laughs> so, uh, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development was adopted by all UN member states in 2015. UN is the United Nations. And the goals are like an urgent call for action by all countries. So it includes developed and developing or even underdeveloped countries in a global partnership. So they kind of want to put all countries together, reaching a common goal, which are those 17 goals. So yeah, today we we're gonna just basically go over uh, them really quickly because if, I feel like it's really important for you to know those 17 goals. Um, also, last week we were talking about TED Talks and there's a really great TED Talk on this 17 sustainable development goals that I'm gonna search about so I can post it on Google Classroom for you to take a look at. It's really quick, so you should enjoy it. Uh, if you're not in the classroom, the link is in the description, and we also have the WhatsApp group link in the description as well. So feel free to join us whenever you want. So yeah, let's get started with the first goal. Uh, so the first goal is no poverty. And the main goal of the goal <laughs> is to end poverty in all its forms everywhere. So basically, like, that's the main goal, and that's the first one, because it's the most important, but also the hardest one to reach. So yeah, and poverty, that's basically it. And the other goals actually are kind of a way, mostly, at least most of them are kind of a way to reach this first goal. But of course, each one of those goals, they have like different tasks, different sub goals, and I think you could call them like that, um, that UN nations and its associations, partners, are trying to do to in order to reach the goal by 2030. We are in 2020 already, and as you will be seeing the TED Talk, I'll be um, putting in Google Classroom. <laughs> We're not that good reaching the goals. Okay, second goal: zero hunger. So end hunger, achieve food security, improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture. So basically those goals, they kind of speak for themselves, you know. Uh, we want to make sure everyone has food at the end of the day, you know, like they are eating well. They um, And also, like, this food's like, secure, safe. It's not contaminated. It doesn't have, like, toxins and things like that. That's basically what the second goal is about. What do you think is the third goal? Like, the first one was basically about socioeconomic one, right? No poverty. Second one is, like, Kind of socioeconomic too, but more about like food, like basic need. So what would be like the third one? Well, the third one is good and good well, good health and well-being. So ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at, at all ages. So just make sure everyone's health. Basically, it's that, and just make sure, just making sure everyone, no matter how old they are, or how young they are, have access to medical care basically so they can continue being healthy and this is really connected like all those goals are connected to each other one example here is that if you don't have food if you don't have like secure food as we were talking about in go two you're not gonna have the go three you're not gonna get uh, everyone being healthy you know well, go for We have talked about food, we have talked about health and poverty, so now we're going to be talking about education. Go for is about quality education. So basically its goal is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. So they just want to make sure everyone gets a chance to learn how to learn literacy, you know, learn how to, um, how, how to speak, how to write, how to read. Um, they want people from all over the world to have the same opportunities and it's basically it and also like not just because you're from a different country but also like equitable also means like um, gender race so they want to make sure those things are not barriers for a quality education and in some countries they are and 
pretty <laughs> hard. Well, the fifth one, then, you must have guessed, is gender equality. Achieve gender equality, empower our women and girls. So basically, it's just making sure um, women and men have the same rights, have the same um, quality. You know, they, they are equal to each other. So, yeah, that's basically it. Like, those girls speak for themselves. And I know it m must be weird, like, doing a classroom just about it. But I really think it's important for you to know. And maybe you haven't even heard of them before. And sixth goal, it's clean water and sanitation. So ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. So it's like drinkable water and not just that, like the water we use to flush um, the water, uh, I don't know, we use to clean our food, for example, things like that. So making sure everyone has the right for sustainable um, and available water, which is like a really huge problem, actually. Seventh go, ensure access, oh yeah, affordable and clean energy. So ensure access to affordable, reliable, and sustainable and modern energy for all. So um, there are many, many people around the world who don't have like lights on their homes. So yeah, basically this goes about making energy, like good energy, affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern, uh, reach everyone. Eighth go. Decent work and economic growth promote sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all. So basically, it's fighting for uh, good work characteristics uh, situations. So you just want to make sure no one's working like slaves you know because in some countries that's kind of a reality so this goes basically making sure working is 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 doing great like um is a good work you have like good conditions like good work conditions so basically that's it yeah make sure everyone's like not being pushed after hours or things like that but um, it's kind of way too for today, you know, like there are many people around the world in some countries that are treated like really slaves, they don't really get anything from their works and this goes about it most especially. So yeah, uh, ninth, ninth goal, industry, innovation and infrastructure. So build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and foster innovation. So basically this one is like to keep growing, you know, like, and infrastructure is really, really important to reach the other girls, uh, the other girls, I'm sorry, the other girls. So for example, uh, how you're going to make energy accessible for everyone. So you're going to need a good infrastructure for it. So that's basically how do you manage to get um, sustainable management of water through a good infrastructure. So as we have mentioned before, those goals are really um, related to each other, and that's like really important to remind yourself of. Tenth goal, reduce inequalities. So basically, reduce inequality uh, within and among countries. So basically, we have like three types of countries. We have developed countries, developing countries, and underdeveloped countries. So basically, uh, they just want to make sure those inequalities, this, those differences that set those those countries apart are reduced. So uh, we live in a more equal world, basically. Eleventh goal, sustainable cities and communities. This one's like really related to the infra infrastructure one we talked about, the ninth goal, uh, because the goal is make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. So it's related to infrastructure. It's also related to the other goals who try to reduce inequalities, who try to um, improve the accessibility for water, for food, for energy, for quality education, and basically everything. Because where you live kind of reflects on uh, what you're gonna gain from there, you know? So yeah, your background usually kind of helps you to become who you are now. So your background is full of opportunities and maybe disadvantages as well, but uh, having those opportunities or not is what's gonna like make you grow basically.
and those goals are basically like to try to give the same opportunities for everyone which is like really awesome but we're kind of far from reaching them <laughs> uh, the tw uh, 12th goal is responsible consumption and production so ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns so kind of try to reduce waste basically uh, make sure you're like recycling reusing like you're not you're not you're just not using um, prime matter to like just finish and <laughs> finish as waste you know so basically that third goal Climate action. Take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. So um, this one has been like really in the media for for some times because of uh, Greta Thunberg. So yeah, climate action. It's basically like taking care of our planet. You know, like making sure we are not devastating it because, well. I don't know if you have, you probably have learned it in biology, but life had really uh, specific conditions for life to evolve. And without those conditions, life cannot survive. So basically, we are killing our planet, we are killing ourselves, because we are like taking down trees and things like that. And if we don't have trees, we don't have photosynthesis, which means we don't have a way to turn carbon dioxide into oxygen. So we don't have the gas we need to breathe, so we basically cannot breathe. That's that's basically it. I think you got the main uh, two of it. Um, yeah, and also one interesting thing, even though many people think Amazonia is like the lungs of the world, it's actually not. It's marathon um, plants, actually. So the plants in the ocean are kind of the main ones that actually give the oxygen we need. Yeah, because Amazonia, even though it really produces a lot of oxygen, it almost uses most of it. So if you really take um, of like the fluid, oxygen, the one that we're really going to be able to use, the one that trees won't reuse, um, it's like marathon plants that actually are the lungs of the world, you know, that actually provide the oxygen we need to us. Okay, 14th goal. Uh, life below water, conserve sustainably, use the ocean, seas, and marine resources for sustainable development. So, really related to the 13th one, right? Because as we, as we mentioned before, um, so here we're talking about mainly like fishes and things like that, like animals. We are also talking about plants. People usually think we're talking just about animals, but we're talking about plants as well. And they're really important, as we have mentioned before, because they are kind of the main source of oxygen we have. Yeah, 15th goal, uh, life on land. So we talked about life on the seas, life on the oceans. So now we're going to be talking about life on land. Protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainability, manage forests, combat desertification, and how to reverse the degradation and how to biodiversity loss. So yeah, uh, we basically just want to make sure you're, we are not messing with nature, you know? We just want to make sure we, we are using it for like a good goal, let's say like that, but not in a way that's going to be uh, bring obstacles after like we want to make sure we're doing things right and not exaggerating you know so and also like taking care like preservating life both on land both on the oceans and when we talk about life we do not only talk about animals we also talk about plants well we're almost there 16th goal peace justice and strong institutions so promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all and build effective, accountable and inclusive institutions at all levels. So this one's basically about peace and justice. So make sure uh, we are being just in what um, we have this justice within ourselves and we are also like not fighting over things. Like we can solve everything with words, basically like non-violence, okay? Um, so basically it. And the 17th goal is actually a goal to reach the other goals. So it's partnership for the goals. Strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. So it's basically finding out partners together with UN um, to reach the goals. Like, kind of bring everyone together for the same goals, basically. And 
that was it. Those were the sustainable development goals. These are the references. I got most of them from the official UN website. And that was basically it. If you have any questions about SDG goals, we're going to have a homework based on it. Um, so you can text us in a WhatsApp group or in the Google Classroom. Both the links are in the description of this video. It was it for today. Thank you so much and bye.